Many people asked from me the same question in multiple forms. Why you should teach karate for your kids? Is it good to teach karate for children? What are the advantages of learning karate for students? How important it is to practice karate for a kid? Are there any benefits to your child if he starts learning karate from younger ages? What specialty it gives to your child if he starts practicing karate as a minor? And finally, can teaching karate to the kids make them violent, dangerous, or in discipline? No matter in which form the above question is focused on. My answer is pretty smart and straightforward. Let me start answering your questions with a big bow. Meaning, we respect others with extreme honor and dignity. Who lives on this earth can survive with no respect shown to others. I'm sure you have seen this phrase on the front walls of many schools, respect others. So here is the start. We, as karate practitioners start our day with a big bow. Karate Dojo provides an excellent environment for the students to learn self-respect, respect for others, and self-discipline. All karate kids have to look upon their sensei with a high degree of regard and devotion, while the sensei too have to value themselves in order to have the confidence to train their students properly. Don't you think that teaching your kids to respect others sounds good? As karate practitioners, we never put others let down in terms of bullying or harassments. Knocking down your opponent is always on the basis of fair challenge and is according to a well-mannered system of face-to-face -face combating rules. Karate kids from the beginning of their training learn to adhere to the set of rules of the dojo which in turn embedded into their natural life and the behavior in the long run. This is the start to train themselves to obey and respect the state laws as respected citizens in their future. One of the most effective ways of tackling the problem of bullying is to build a strong foundation in the mind of a child by strengthening it with the confidence through hard training and workout. So years and years of continuous karate training provides the basis for your child to gain strength and fitness to tackle the obstacles in their lives. Don't you think that teaching your child to protect themselves from others' harassments and bullies a good way of precaution? I strongly believe that all government and private schools should provide karate training as a part of their curriculum. Such decision will influence the character building mechanisms within the students enhancing them to acquire physical as well as mental fitness. We as karate instructors hold this responsibility of being aware of and to ensure the physical and mental well-being of our fellow students within and outside the dojo, and also during and after the karate classes. A virtually established sacred code of conduct of the dojo provides the basis for all karate students to acquire such precious qualities into their lives, through regular practice and adherence. Don't you think having a strong mind and body is helpful for the kids for achieving their future endeavors? Karate training involves acquisition of knowledge, skills and attitudes in terms of three main sources. Kion. Kata and Kumite. Kion is the basics in karate wherein the kids start learning how to coordinate in between your mind and body. Movements and positions. Techniques and controls. Kata is a high level of proficiency in the basic and as well as advanced techniques and combinations gained through hard training. Proper focus and through regular practice at the dojo. Kumite is meant for the practical application of all the knowledge, skills, and attitudes gained throughout hard training into the real fight scenarios, where the street fighting is called as the extreme case. One fact common for all above Kion, Kata, as well as for Kumite is the focus on defense rather than offense. In Ashihara Karate this is combined into one movement through the implementation of the powerful strategy called Sabiaki. It combines both defense and offense into one movement, 
so that the technique becomes more efficient and powerful when serving its intended needs. Knowing the right strategy and implementation of its plan of action with a strong sense of urgency must be the ultimate key of success of anybody's life without argument. So what about your kids? Don't you think that practicing the strategic way is beneficial for your kids to succeed in their future goals? Practicing karate involves some heavy assignments including but not limited to punching to a bag, pad, or a makarawa board, breaking of a roof tile, wooden block, or a basketball racket, etc. No matter how it sounds. The ultimate aim is to incredibly focused on the activity concerned, and to concentrate your total energy on your target, and finally to achieve it. What if the same level of focus, energy, and effort is applied on the schoolwork assignments? The result would be amazing exam grades. So from that respect too. Having trained your kids with karate punches, kicks, blocks, strikes and in combinations, to hit the assigned targets, worth the time you spent on it. Because it teaches the children that they can be far better than the average, when it comes to achieving higher academic grades. Some parents are still concerned that teaching karate can make their kids so violent and aggressive. But what is true is the reverse of that. Modern studies have found that such aggressive training actually made them less aggressive or less violent than the peers who do not practice karate, meaning the more you exposed yourselves to the tough work, the higher you realize your true potential, and the deep you understand your ability to absorb the pressure from outside. In other words, the higher pressure you can absorb before your mind blasts, the lesser the chance of you being violent or aggressive to others. Do you need more examples to believe that? The karate kids possess courtesy and respect as their first line of defense. Where the techniques that they learn through years and years becomes their least option of survival, most importantly they learn where not to use it. At Ashihara Karate, we conduct classes hours long starting from a bow and ending with another bow. A warming up session is taking place at the beginning after which Kion, Kata, and Kumite is taking place. The continuous progress of each student is closely monitored and is marked with a standard belt system having the colors ranked from white up to the ultimate black. Students are continuously and unfailingly encouraged to kick punch or strike little higher or faster than how it was. This motivates them to never accept less from themselves and makes them realize their true potential always meaning they become more and more strong capable and physically coordinated characters simply the hero of their own story so as your karate kids grow up they become more and more stronger in terms of physical as well as mental fitness they begin to realize that they can handle themselves in dangerous situations and they become more confident individuals overall. An elevated sense of self-confidence will certainly benefit your child throughout the future and life achievements. I hope that these explanations would have cleared the state of confusions in your mind over the subject matter of this video. Hope you would have enjoyed. If so, please like, share, and comment. Also please do not forget to subscribe our AFM channel and stay tuned with us. Thank you.